good spot to rest right here. Let me get this uh, sternum strap off. Oh, hey! Been out getting some exercise today. Hope you're all doing well. This is Farmer Son prepping. Uh, been out doing a little, uh, little exercise on my pack. It's about 40 pounds. And uh, the dogs are with me, of course. So, uh, Today I want to conclude the series uh, new to prepping start here. Uh, if you have been watching that series and possibly even doing the series, which I pray that y'all are, I have to make a list here. My memory's not so good. So the number one in this series was water storage and filtration. Number two was food. That'd be canned foods, dry goods, and freeze dried. Number three was sanitation. Number four was security. Number five was medical prep. Number six was uh, go kit. Our little buddy right here. Uh, number seven was off grid supplies. Number eight was learning new skills. And that brings us to nine and ten. We will cover steps or parts of nine and 10, both in this video today, because they're just basically talking points. So, step number nine in the uh, Noodle Prepping Start Here series, I want to talk about spiritual preparedness. Uh, you know, it's uh, being a prepping uh, prepper and a survivalist, it may call us to have to do things uh, they can put our lives in danger. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, what I mean by that, of course, you, you've seen the uh, the photo I chose. Uh, protecting your home, protecting your family. Uh, if you are the leader of your home, if you're a man, if you're the father of the home, you know, you have an obligation to protect your family. If you're just a single mom, you're, uh, I mean, any mom's going to protect their child uh, from an incoming threat. Uh, and what I mean by spiritually prepared, um, are you prepared to meet your maker? Are you, uh, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, I know this video, this part of the video is going to get some hate, I understand that. Not everybody's a Christian, and I'm not trying to shove my religion down your throat, but if you're going to, if you're being, if you're, if you're a prepper, uh, you need to think about it. Uh, what if you securing your family or taking care of your family puts your own life at risk and you lose your life? Uh, I cannot finish this video series without telling y'all the truth, uh, the truth about God's salvation. God prepared a way uh, for us to be saved. Uh, Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, okay? But God made a way. He chose to give his only son, Jesus Christ. Uh, he took our punishment of sin uh, on the cross and uh, you can choose whether or not to accept it. Uh, my prayer is that you choose to accept it uh, and be reborn or be born again as a Christian, as one of God's children. Uh, I feel like God has protected me from a lot of things in my life. This is just talking about my opinion, my life experience here. The Lord has been with me, there's no doubt. He's blessed me uh, over and abundantly. And so, uh, as you're doing the things that you need to do to protect your family, uh, I just want you to be able to do those things and have the peace of knowing that uh, you're prepared 
there in, in that part. You're prepared. Uh, and as if something happens to you, uh, your family can see you again in heaven. I won't spend a lot of time on this, y'all, but, uh, you know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And uh, so we all deserve hell. Every man and woman uh, and child, we all deserve hell. The only way uh, to make it to heaven is through Jesus. Jesus even said, I am the door, uh, you know. So there is no other God whereby you can be saved uh, other than the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So uh, my prayer is that you are spiritually prepared to do the things you need to do to protect your family. Uh, and that is part nine, spiritual preparedness. I'll cut that one short. Uh, but something to definitely think about, okay? The next part I want to talk about is uh, the prepper mindset. That will be part 10, the last or the conclusion of this video series. The prepper mindset. Uh, how can I explain it? The ability to think long term. What happens when you can't go to the store anymore? What happens when if you get there there's nothing on the shelves to buy? Uh, the proper mindset, you have to think beyond what your situation is. You have to think beyond, okay, somebody just came and knocked on my door. What are they going to want? Uh, are they here to hurt my family? Uh, always be prepared. I know I sound like an old Boy Scout or whatever, but, uh, you know, be prepared for that door to be flung open and somebody try to hurt your family because I'm telling you. The times we're living in, y'all, are evil, evil, evil times. Uh, so, having that prepper's mindset, doing the things, stacking the, uh, storing your water and uh, having ways to filter your water and storing the food and having those things necessary to keep your family safe. Uh, you know, some expert somewhere said that, uh, if we ever go without the rule of law, that's W-O-R-L, people use that all the time. 90% uh, of the people in this world are going to die. 90% uh, of the people are going to starve uh, or just be killed for what they have. Uh, you have to think about that. That's the prepper mindset. Um, so... If you have stockpiled all the things we've talked about in this list, uh, you need to be prepared to defend what you have, your preps. Defend your family, defend your preps. Um, a lot of people ain't going to be able to live without electricity. You're going to have a lot of people just go berserk uh, when they can't get their meds, when they can't go to the pharmacy and get their meds, or they, they can't... Uh, they can't store their insulin in a, cold, in a refrigerator. A lot of people are going to die uh, in an in a end of the world, SHTF, shit hits the fan type of event. So you definitely have to think about that prepared mindset. Uh, learn how to utilize that. Uh, this is where I talk about how prepping is survival, and it is. Uh, to be part of that 10% that lives uh, through a situation, you're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to learn, okay, now I can't go to the grocery store. Do I have Do I have the knowledge to come out here and eat from the wild? Uh, you know, so something to think about. Um, you definitely need to have a prepper's mindset. Uh, it's it's hard to put my I can't hardly form my words my words about it because it's uh, such a hard thing to describe. But uh, having that will to fight and that will to survive uh, can be the difference between you living and you passing away, uh, your family making it and your family not making it. So um, with that, that is the conclusion of this uh, series of videos. I appreciate all of you who have been watching it. Who's been watching it on Facebook? Sorry, y'all. When I'm on camera, I get all nervous and 
I can't say my words right. Uh, but uh, these are the last two steps, or the last two parts of this series, spiritual preparedness uh, and the prepper's mindset. I think they're two vital, important parts. Uh, so if you have done all these other things, if you've stockpiled your waste and purified water and your food and all this other stuff, uh, then it's time to start thinking about, of course, learning new skills, but learning how to adapt, learning how to, uh, to fight, and learning how to survive. It's going to be important. Uh, you know, I know um, Americans, we're not used to going without power. We're not used to going without uh, the good things in life. You know, cold food, ice in our drinks, that type of thing. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard on us all. And, uh, you have to think about that. Uh, and look, I understand not everybody's going to be able uh, they're not going to be, uh, a lot of people uh, have mobil mobility issues, that type of thing. And uh, I have some of those myself. But uh, are you going to be willing to fight? Are you going to be willing to fight for your survival? That's the preference mindset. Maybe it should be called a survival mindset. Either one you want to call it. It's fine with me. So that's what today's video is about. I want to invite you, no, move dog, get out of the way son, first I want to thank you, I want to thank those of you, uh, the moderators and the people in the Facebook groups who have allowed my videos to be posted, I appreciate you so much, uh, uh, so thank you all for watching, and I invite you to come and join my channel, I'm just a small channel on YouTube, uh, I'm not monetized. I'm not affiliated with any companies. Uh, I'm doing this to help people. The only reason I make videos is to help people. Uh, to help people get prepared for what may be coming. I pray to God it doesn't, y'all. And if it don't, then we'll have food to eat. And, uh, you know, if, it, if we don't let it go bad, if we rotate our stocks the way we're supposed to, you'll have food to eat. You, you know, if, if all this is for nothing, outstanding. Then we'll have food to eat and ways to purify water if we ever need to do that. Uh, I pray that none of this happens. But uh, we really have to be prepared for any any type of situation. Uh, our government is trying to kill us uh, in so many words. And they're trying to kill us. They're trying to uh, starve us out. That is part of the plan. Look up Agenda 2021. Look up Agenda 2030. Uh, go look at the website of the, uh, what is it? The, uh, uh, World Economic Forum. That's what I'm trying to think of. Go see what their plan is. Their plan is, uh, you know, the Earth is overpopulated. We have to depopulate the Earth. That's what their plan is. And they're saying it out loud, y'all. If you don't trust me, go do your research on that. So God bless you is my prayer. I invite you to come over uh, to Farmer Son Prepping on YouTube. I'll also be posting videos on my Facebook page, uh, Alabama Son Prepping on Facebook. Uh, most of the lives and stuff, the live streams will not be posted on Facebook. So any kind of educational videos, I try to post on Facebook because I know people need that type of content right now. So I thank you. I thank you for watching. I pray God bless you all. Uh, do the things. Stack the food. Prepare your family. Have a preparedness plan with your family. Teach your children how to forage, how to reload magazines, whatever it's going to take. God bless you all. This is Farmer Son Prepping. Uh, thank you again.